Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering three topics. They are raising exceptions, assertions, and then I will explain how to create custom exceptions. Guys, I have uploaded a complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain raising exceptions. By using raise keyword, we can create our own exceptions. I will give an example. I written here a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6. This is the list. List contains total 6 items. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want to create my own exception. Just I am writing here if length. This list is present in variable here. So just write here a. If length of a is greater than 4. For example, if I give length greater than 4, then it should display exception. By using raise keyword, we can create our own exception. So just write here raise exception. We are creating exception. So I am writing here exception. And here you need to take E in capital letter or else it will display error. Exception. Inside this, I want to create some error message like error length of list must be less than 3. That is error length of list must be less than 3. This is exception which is created by me. We can create custom exceptions by using raise keyword. Here I given condition that is length of A should not be greater than 4. But here I took total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But here I took total 6 items. So length is 6. So it will display exception. So this is my output. Except a raise, it will display remaining. That is exception. What is exception? Error. Length of list must be less than 3. This is use of raise keyword. By using raise keyword, we can create our own exceptions. So just write here raise, exception, E in capital letter. And inside this, you can write exception. Next, I will explain assertions. Assertion is nothing but boolean expression that checks if the statement is true or false. If statement is true, then it does nothing and it continues execution. But if statement is false, then it stops execution and it will display error. This is flowchart for assertion. If this assertion condition is true, then program will continue. But if this assertion condition is false, then it will stop execution and gives assertion error. That means it will display some error message. This is example. Here I written a equal to 4 and b equal to 0. As you know, we cannot divide any number by 0. Here for assertion, we need to use assert keyword. So I written here assert. I am giving condition that is b must not be equal to 0. After that, take comma and give error message. That is nothing but I am giving error message like 0 gives an error. This is use of assert keyword. Write here assert and give condition. Only if this condition is satisfied, then it will continue execution. But if this condition is not satisfied, then it will display error message that is 0 gives an error. And I am writing another statement that is write print a by b. Here I given condition that is b is not equal to 0. But here b value is equal to 0. This condition is not satisfied. Only if b value is not equal to 0, then it will continue execution that is it will print a by b. But here I given b equal to 0. Condition is not satisfied. So it will not print A by B. Just it will display error message that is 0 gives an error. So I will get output 0 gives an error. For example, if I give B value as 2, yes, this condition is satisfied. So it will continue execution. So I will get output that is 4 by 2 that equal to 2. Only if this condition is true, it will continue execution. If this condition is false, then it will stop execution and it will display 0 gives an error. You can give any error message here. I give a message that is 0 gives an error. Next, I will explain how to create our own exceptions. In Python, we can define custom exceptions, nothing but our own exceptions by creating new class that is derived from built-in exception class. This is syntax. At first, I am creating class. By using keyword class, you can create any class. So, at first, I written class. Inside this, I am creating my own exception. You can give any name. I am giving exception name as custom error and this is derived from exception class. So inside this I written exception. Meaning of this is we are creating new class that is custom class which is derived from built-in exception class. So this is built-in class that is exception. Inside this write pass and next use try and accept a block. And inside accept a block you need to give custom error. I will give an example. In this example I am creating my own exception that is invalid age exception. If person is above 18 then he is eligible to vote. But if person is less than 18 then he is not eligible to vote. So I am creating exception for this. I written here class. I am creating my own exception. That exception name is invalid age exception. And this invalid age exception is derived from exception class. So inside brackets I took exception. Inside this I am not writing any statements. Just I written here pass. 
And next I written here a equal to int of input of enter number. Whenever you run this line of code, you will get output enter number and you can use any integer value. And next inside try block I written, if age is greater than 18, I should get output eligible to vote. So I written here, if age is greater than 18, print eligible to vote. Else if I give age less than 18, then it should give error message that is nothing but exception. So inside else block I written, by using race keyword we can create our own exceptions. So inside else I written race and our exception name is invalid age exception. So I written this here. And next inside except block I written invalid age exception. And inside this I am giving some message like print exception occurred invalid age. In this example you need to follow indentation or else it will display error. Follow same indentation for try and except block. And inside try block I written if else statement. So after giving some space right if and how much space you took for if condition same space you need to take for else condition give same indentation for if else here for inbuilt exception class you need to take es capital for example if you take es small letter it will display error so definitely for exception take es capital if i enter value which is greater than 18 i will get output eligible to it else if i enter value which is less than 18 i will get output exception occurred invalid age exception this is program which is created by me in order to create my own exceptions. So here I will get output enter number. For example, if I enter age 45, I will get output eligible to vote. For example, if I give age that is 14, whenever I enter age 14, it will check condition that is 14 is not greater than 18, 14 is less than 18. This condition is not satisfied. So it will skip this if block and it will exit else block. S block contains race invalid age exception and this invalid age exception is present in except block that is except invalid age exception and this except block contains statement that is print exception occurred invalid age. So I will get output exception occurred invalid age whenever I enter value which is less than or equal to 18. By using exception class we can create user defined exceptions that is nothing but we can create our own exceptions by using exception class. And this exception class is built in class that is nothing but this class is already present in python. This invalid age exception is exception which is created by me.